especially town meeting. Would the clerk please read the return of the warrant? Franklin SS, pursuant to the within warrant, I have notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Whitley by posting contested copies of the same at the town hall, town office building, post office, and S.Y. Dickinson Library in said town 14 days at least before the date of the meeting is within directed. Edwin M. Zanieski, Constable of Whitley, and it was posted on November 21st. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $58 from fiscal year 2017 free cash to account number 630-544-000, parentheses, Tritown Beach, to pay unpaid bills of a prior fiscal year. I second. Article 1 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Questions? Issues? This will require a nine-tenths vote. So I have asked my teller to please count. Those in favor? Fifteen. Behind opposed? You, you'd get behind. Nineteen, no, eighteen. You got everybody here? What's that? You got all three of the, the board? No, she didn't. No, so there's 18 in favor. Opposed? I can do that arithmetic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I did get, I, I did get those. There's 15. I, put them up again. Let me try it again. Somebody asked me a question and I wasn't listening. As long as it goes to zero. <laughs> Solve for X. 16, 17. 17 in favor. None opposed. <clears throat> Mr. Moderator? We'll move the town vote to transfer the sum of $1,300 from the Water Department Enterprise Fund 2017 retained earnings to account for 50 dollars Water Department General Expenses to pay unpaid bills for a prior fiscal year. Second. Moved and second. Questions? Issues? Other discussion? This also requires a 9 tenths vote. And let us try not to confuse the teller. Peter's working hard though. One quick question. How is it that, I'm assuming Verizon, how is it that the bills didn't get to the water department and has that been fixed? Shortly after we moved into this building, the bill stopped coming. And we have never been able to get a satisfactory explanation from Verizon as to where it went. We thought at first maybe we were part, since we're all in the same building now, it yeah. was on the big phone bill for the building. So we just kept answering the phone and went along happily until all of a sudden, we got a notice and say, if you don't pay this, we're going to shut it off. But nobody could explain to us where it went. Oh. So they do want their money. Okay. Let's work here. All those in favor? And leave them out, please. Seventeen. Seventeen. Those are opposed? Sure. Yes and then zero. No. Very good. Mr. Moderator, we we'll that the town vote to transfer the sum of $15,000 from the Water Department Enterprise Fund 2017 retained earnings to account 450 dollars Water Department General Expense to pay for anticipated expenses for the current fiscal year. Second. Discussion? Unanticipated expenses. Most of, most of these are the crossing of Route 5 and 10 for each of roads and crossing of Route 5 and 10 for underground supply. It's very expensive to get across Route 5 because you can't open cut it. You got to bore it because the state won't let you open cut it. And at the time you do budgets, you don't know these guys are going to buy property on the wrong side of the water pipe. And they show up and you got to service it. So that's where it comes from. Other questions or issues? I got this one, Peter. It's just the majority. Okay, thank you. All those in favor? Opposed? Yes, Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer the sum of $7,500 from fiscal year 2017 free cash to pay for the design and construction of improvements to the Veterans Monument and surrounding land located immediately adjacent to the town hall. Second. Questions? Peter. Um, how come this, uh, the CPA money is not being used for this? Um, the timing of... So so the purpose of this money is to be a match, or the real purpose of this money is to be a match for a grant that's going to be submitted January 16th, I believe, $15,000 grant that's going to be submitted. 
Um, so don't you think it should say that? What's that? Don't you think it should say that? It says it in the explanation. Like it says in the explanation, yeah. Um, and when you when you're writing a grant, it's better to say that you have money appropriated instead of saying that we think we will be able to get the match. So that's why the timing of that does not work because CPA funds will be appropriated at the annual town meeting in April instead of we could have it now and say that we have it in hand it makes the grant application more competitive. I think you can expect that CPA funds will be involved in the final completion of the fund. Okay. The other question I had was, um, in terms of the improvements, I do see the explanation here in terms of the improvements, uh, what, what it's talking about, but it, it does talk somewhat vaguely in terms of surrounding land adjacent to the town hall. Uh, in the construction of improvements to the monument to surround and the surrounding land adjacent to the town hall. What what's gonna happen? The the intent of that is because the right of way is so wide there, there's no that's actually not a lot or there's no boundaries to that area. Uh, there's no lot boundaries to that area. Um, so we can't reference a lot there. The intent there is that it's the existing area of where the monuments are currently. It's kind of set up some trees in the sidewalk, parking lot, road, and there's some trees there. To kind so of it's not intended that space. To, to make space for the town hall? No. It's not going to be done to make parking spaces or open it up in no. any kind of way? It's going to continue to be used for what it is now? Yes. And that's, that's the purpose of the grant. The grant is very specific to the restoration of the Veterans Monuments in that park there, the benches and the landscaping. Thank you. Yep. Peter, any other questions or issues? All those in favor? Those opposed? The others have it? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote transfer the sum of five balance dollars from fiscal year 2017 free cash to account number 300 5809 the sprinkler system for Whitley Elementary to pay for additional testing and repairs to or the replacement of the existing sprinkler system. Second. Discussion? Is that enough? And the question was, do you think that's enough? That's only part of that. Part of it. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry, I missed who asked the question. In the back. It is not, it is not enough money to fix the system. Um, you want a quick background? It should be enough to test it. I know it failed, and I know we gave money to repair it, but what's, we needed more than what the we owe. So we have $28,000 right now in the account. Um, one of the proposals that we have for additional testing um, was just over $30,000. What we're exploring is much cheaper options than that um, to try to figure out uh, where the blockages are in the system and where the corrosion is worse so that we could uh, do more of a limited repair instead of a more significant repair. So right now the way we're, the way we're likely to proceed with this is, is hopefully to do something a little bit less limited in scope. But at the end of the day, two things need to happen for sure. The system needs to be flushed and all of the sprinkler heads, which is 100, I think it's between 160, 180 sprinkler heads need to be replaced. So between whatever money's left over from, from diagnosing the issues can be put towards the replacement of those heads. Uh, those heads failed a test um, this past summer that was required by the building inspector and now the school needs to replace those sprinkler heads. So this is probably gonna end up being more money moving forward? Yes. Count on that. Absolutely. Other issues, questions? Those in favor? I move that the town vote to rescind the appropriation of $23,600 of Community Preservation Act funds under Article 18 of the April 28, 2015 Annual Town Meeting as it relates to an appropriation for the Hudkowski Agricultural Preservation Restriction and to return said amount 
23,600 back to the open space reserve. Second. Questions, issues, discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Passed. I move that the town vote to return the sum of $14,376. <coughs> of Community Preservation Act funds being the amount of funds remaining from an appropriation of $18,000 under Article 13 of the October 15, 2013 Special Town Meeting for the addition and rehabilitation of baseball and softball fields at Hurley Heath Field and 219 Christian Lane back to the unreserved fund balance. Second. Questions? The, Mr. Moderator, the, the REC committee will probably be coming back to community preservation. Um, we want to do an assessment of all the fields, what our needs are, um, to, to, to really get a handle on what needs to, to happen. So I spoke with Alan about this. And we're happy to give it back temporarily, but we will be coming back. We, we need to, for example, we need to figure out how to secure land to the west of Hurley Heath Field right now because when Hurley Heath Field was built originally, we built whoever built it back in the 80s, built it on someone else's property. <laughs> so those types of things. We also will need to replace the softball field if we are fortunate enough to sell the blue school um, and we don't have enough fields right now. They're getting used a lot. Um, so we'll be coming back, but for now, we're happy to do this. Other questions, discussion? Those in favor? Opposed? Yes. I'll vote in support. Yeah. Opposed. I move that the town vote pursuant to General Laws Chapter 44B to transfer the sum of $6,000 of Community Preservation Act funds from the unreserved fund balance to the housing reserve. Second. I should explain, the CPA requires that 10% of each year's revenue be assigned to historic preservation, uh, community housing, and open space, respectively. When we do the projections each year, we try to be conservative so we don't over allocate. And we have under transferred to housing over the years, and this is a cleanup to bring us in compliance. Questions? Issues? Those in favor? Opposed? Yes. Mr. Moderator. I move that the town vote to amend the, the Wavy Zoning Bylaw by amending Section 171-8A, Table of Use Regulations, and 171-286, Registered Marijuana Dispensary and Offsite Marijuana Dispensary, as indicated below, with additions are shown in bold, underlined italics font, and the deletions are shown in a strikeout font. Second. Does anyone have any questions about the changes that are being proposed? Don will be handing out a free one so they have to do so. <coughs> if not, we will see the vote. This will require two thirds, so Peter holds again. I must qualify the vote. Yeah. Those in favor? Sixteen opposed. <coughs> Two thirds has it. I would entertain this motion to adjourn. Mr. Moderator, I move to adjourn. Second. Second. Those in favor? I stand adjourned. Well, what are the names, everyone?